So here's the original sketch of the sea otter. And here is the life-size version that I kind of made by accident. It all started with some sketching in Homer. Homer is this great little Alaskan fishing village that is strung out along the kind of sandy beaches of Kachemak Bay. It is full of amazing people, surrounded by mountains, and has about as much character as some small countries. In fact, the art scene is so good here that I often find myself not sketching because I'm too intimidated. But it's hard not to when there's just this many interesting things that you just want to capture. Which is how I found myself on this dock trying to make a sketch of a sea otter. We saw the fuzzy little things bobbing all over the place, but they're always pretty far away and I really wanted to make a sketch just close up with all that detail. So now that I've got this sketch, it's time to make a slightly bigger version. So we'll start with the pen. Once I have a little bit of an outline, I'm just going to start cross-hatching a little bit, just to get like a little bit of texture before I add all this paint. I'm going to be starting with like a little bit of brown or something like that, but I want to kind of keep it loose, and frankly, I think these things have most of the colors of the rainbow in their fur, so I don't think you can go too wrong. Now, I'm trying to paint wet on wet because it's a sea otter and, you know, it only seems appropriate, but it's kind of going all over the place and looking kind of messy. I don't know if it's going to pull together. Okay, maybe some details. Let's do some whiskers. Okay, and... No, nope, the original is definitely better. Oof. Okay, there's only one thing to do. If at first you do not succeed, find a bigger, more expensive sheet of paper. That logic is airtight, right? Uh, we'll start with the pencil at least. To be honest, it feels a little strange using a $1 Sharpie on a $30 sheet of paper, but that's kind of how today is going. Okay, now it's time to erase and then try to build up the courage to start painting. It always feels like the first half of the painting is just in the first stroke. I don't know what it is about that big blank sheet of paper, but you just gotta make your mark. And now we're off and running. No matter how big the painting is, I feel like eventually you kind of hit the flow, and then you're just kind of following the current of the painting. I'm still worried that I created nightmare fuel, but I think that's because I haven't finished the eyes. These paintings seem to come to life in the last few details, but it just takes so much patience to let yourself get there. I was seriously doubting the sea otter, but now that I can kind of see it face to face, I'm really liking it. And there it is, an accidental life-size sea otter, all because of a little sketch on the dock. Maybe I'll do a whale next. I'll either need big paper or a very small whale.